All right, number uh, six. We're going to do number six and number seven with this one. Okay? Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. All right, so we got this guy. We got this guy. We got this guy. We got this guy. And this is A. And this is B. And this is C. And this is D. And what they want to know is, Tell whether the angles are adjacent, only adjacent, adjacent in a form of linear pair, or not adjacent at all. Okay? So they want to know A and B first. So A and B. So are A and B adjacent? Right? So are they next to each other? Okay? Yeah, they're adjacent. A, look at this, and B. What, what does this mean again? Remember? And. And. Okay. A, A and B. Adjacent. Okay. They are adjacent. Are they only adjacent? Or do they also make a linear pair? So in other words, do they create a line? Is this 180 degrees? Yes. Yes. So and they are called what's called a linear pair. Okay. So they do both. They're both next to each other, right? And they create a line. Next to each other. Be blessed, because I never write, so I know you can't read that, but live with it. No, I'm kidding. I'll rewrite it. <laughs> Next to each other. Okay? And then linear pair means make a line. Okay, cool. That's as much as you're getting out of me. All right, now, the next one wants to know what about C and D? C and D. Let's take a look. C and D. Well, that would be this guy and this guy. Right? And I probably should have three here and maybe uh, one... Three, four here, right? Because they're all different sizes, right? Can't say that they're the same size. Anywho, are they next to each other? Yes. Do they make a linear pair? No. Okay. Then they are only adjacent. Okay. That's it. That's six. Then we look at seven. Ooh, seven and eight. I should lay them straight, right? Dad, your handwriting looks so small. Is it? No, you're just too far back. No, I see it's small. That's the biggest C I can make. Wow. Oh, no, those letters are fine. It's fine. You get used to it. We all do. Yeah. Well, scoot up. I'm a nice guy, really.